<laughs> Kevin Gray, Mavis Free and Post Game Host of 97 1 Free for Markeith Morris. And Markeith, for this team, 16 and 2 in the last 18 games. What has been the biggest turnaround for this team from your perspective on how well you guys are playing right now? Uh, just accepting our reality that we're a good team and um, uh, accepting that we deep and we don't need player. You know, we don't need guys to play 40 minutes. You know, identifying that you know who our best players are, who our players that play well together. Um, just being a good a good teammate for each other. Uh, I think um, early in the year, you know. It was more of an uphill battle because certain guys wanted to play these, you know what I mean? You want to play a certain amount of minutes, you want to accomplish this this in season, which is, you know, it's normal through an NBA season. And, um, yeah, when it was time for us to you know, turn the page and, and put it all together, we did. What's the key to successful teams that have made postseason runs in your experience about what that mindset has to look like and how that can change throughout the course of year to get to that point? Understanding, um, you know, it's going to take all of us to win. Um, you know, uh, when I won a championship uh, a couple years back, uh, our example is our, our some of our starter bigs, I'd say Dwight and Javel, they started for us all season. Um, we had a couple uh, playoff series, but they didn't play at all. Right? You know what I'm saying? And they started, you know, between each other, 80 some games, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, identifying that, you know, the bigger picture um, and what we're trying to accomplish. And when you look at this team in particular, a lot has been made about the leadership, not just from yourself, but from Kyrie and from Luca. Mm -hmm. Kind of take me back to that moment where you and Kyrie were able to address the team to be able to get the team on the same page. What was that that moment like for you, and what made you want to step up in that moment for your team? Uh, for me, I mean, you know, Kai and Luca does the job um, more so leading by example. You know what I mean? And uh, I understand that, you know, I've been around guys that's like that, not more of the vocal guys speak when they need to, but, you know, lead by example on the court and off the court and the work they do. So my job is to be the voice of those guys, you know what I mean? Not, not because they don't want to, because that's, that's not their identity. Um, and when we had that talk that day, it was more so about, like, it's just how our season gonna go. Like, you know, we put all this time, all this work in, we went through the ups and downs. We didn't, we didn't, you know, prepare for a championship, but we falling short right now. So, you know, what do we need to do to be able to, to, to turn the season around, to be able to compete for a championship? And I think that's when, you know, guys are realizing that, you know, you know, we actually have a chance and, you know, we're gonna be a laughing stock if we don't, you know, turn this thing around right now. And I was also the coaches did a great job of like moving the lineups around. You got to give JK and, and that coaching staff a lot of credit. Um, they put a lot of time in. Um, basically, you know, we all bought in, and you know, that's the reason why we're at right now. Has that always been a part of your journey as an NBA player, being vocal when you need to and picking your spots to be able to deliver those kinds of messages? No, I had to grow into this. Um, you know, early on, I would have mother effed everybody and <laughs> this that like that's just the, the how I was you know young and mature you know just been you know just it's just how it going you know but I've been the playoffs before last year eight straight years so you know I kind of got some insight on how to get there you know how to you know I've won the championship I've been to the Eastern Conference final multiple times been to the Western Conference final multiple times so you know I was just able to get my insight on how this thing works and, you know, and what's needed, even if you're a team that is going to the playoffs. If you don't have that momentum, you don't have that team camaraderie, it still won't work. Last couple of questions for you. When you look at teams that you've obviously been part of in terms of championships, what does that championship DNA look like? And does this team have some of those characteristics that you've seen? For sure. This, 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 this team has a lot of them, and that comes with, like, uh, knowing your role, doing your role to the highest, to the highest, uh, to, to the utmost, to the highest, you know, standard that we're looking for. Um, believing in your teammates, you know, believing in, in what the coaches is trying to do. And I think... Uh, yeah, I think we got a real good shot. If you ask me, we going to win the championship. I mean, just based off of, you know, the momentum we have going into the playoffs, this is a real big thing. Um, you can have a good record but not be playing well lately, and, and we've been doing both. Um, we're, we've brought all the way in on, you know, what's needed to, to do to win, and I think that, you know, you, my personal opinion is, you know, obviously it's going to be super hard, but I think we have for the challenge.
Last one for you. What message do you have for Mavericks fans about what they can expect hopefully going into the postseason? Uh, just get ready for this long playoff run, man, because we're going to be here. All we're right. going to be here. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. Thank you.